Hey, this is Jeff and we are here with USP Pro. In this video we look at the basics of USP Pro and just cover a few things that uh, are important to understand getting into the plugin. So let's get into it. Here we have USP Pro installed and activated and the license here also is activated. And for more help with that you can check out the previous quick start video it shows how to get up and running with USP Pro. So what does USP Pro do? Well, it enables us to display forms on the front end. And the forms can do many things. They can do things like uh, submit posts. Um, they can serve as a contact form. They can register users. So a user can register from any poster page on your site and they can submit other types of posts like pages or custom post types and forms can also be combination forms that do things like register a user and send an email for like a, con a contact form uh, or you could create a form that submits posts and registers users or you could create a form that does all three submits posts registers users and sends an email for like a contact form there's so much that it can do that really uh, a great way to get familiar is to kind of look through the tutorials, either the written tutorials here at Plugin Planet or the video tutorials that are available also at Plugin Planet. And I will be posting more videos and getting those online. So for now, let's see what we do here if we want to create a form that submits a post on the front end. Here's a short code that we could use to display this form right on the front end. So we can go in and publish that. And then copy the short code. And choose a page. Where do we want to display the form? Here's a good spot. We click update. Now we can view the page on the front end. And all of this is completely customizable. We can change fields, we can add or remove text, and each of the fields can be customized with attributes. There is just so much that can be done. So what happens when you have a form like this on your site? Well, let's fill it out and see what happens. We already have our name and email address already filled out automatically. So let's add a post URL and a post title. Answer the anti-spam challenge question. Choose a category. Type in some post content. Choose a file. And that's pretty much it. Let's submit the post. Success! So if I were a visitor to this website instead of the admin, I could, this form just enabled me to submit content. And where does that content go? Well, that's a good question. It goes right here to the post screen because we have the form set up. It's set up by default to submit posts, the uh, WordPress post type. So here is the submitted post. We can see that the plugin um, knows that I am the author, and the category was uncategorized. And here are the custom fields that are attached to the post. So the submitted post, this is treated just like a regular WordPress post. There is no difference. So it will be displayed on the front end just like a regular post. So these custom fields can also be displayed on the front end using the helper plugin which we have available at Plugin Planet. And there is also a video that explains how to use the helper plugin to display custom fields. You can download here on this page. So let's go ahead and publish our post and view it on the front end. There it is. So that's all there is to it. Our submitted post will now be displayed along with every other post that we add 
to this website. So it's really neat. It's a great way to enable your users to submit content to your site. And it's uh, very flexible. You can check out more videos and tutorials to learn more, but I just wanted to kind of show you what the plugin does and what it can do. We could also go back and we could display a contact form or a user registration form. And we don't have to use the demos. We don't, you know, we can create a new form if we wanted to and display it on any post or page, just like we did here using the short code. So that once the visitor can re go to the form on the front end, once, once you add that form to a page and the visitor can go to the form, then they can start submitting content and sharing their ideas and uploading images and do whatever it is that you want them to do uh, right, on, right from the front end. So I hope this video has helped kind of explain what the plugin does. And please check out some more videos to see some of the other cool things that can be done. We're going to be getting into some more neat stuff here in future videos. So thank you for watching and stay tuned. Thank you.